simmers and welcome back to the channel it's your girl sim alley here and today's video is 12 date night ideas for your sims so basically i'm cupid and i'm putting the spice back in your sims relationships so without further ado let's get started so first we have a nice little relaxing paint and sip night so pop the cork on your sims favorite wine and bust off the easels for a nice little date night this is my setup i have a table in the middle with flowers and wine but you can also include snacks or if, it va if it's valentine's day you can have valentine's day decor up there too the list goes on and on um, but it'll be really interesting to see what your sims create especially if they have different um, painting levels have a movie marathon date night at home with a movie hangout pack cozy up with some popcorn and watch your favorite movie with your sims significant other alternatively if you have the seasons pack you can wait until the tv premiere holiday or if you just have base game then you can just watch tv with your significant other you can also have a spa night where you guys maybe give each other facials massages um look at this guy's hairy back props to her because i would not be rubbing my man's back if it was that hairy <laughs> but you have the option to bust out the massage table or get the massage chair make sure you take turns because it's give and receive here <laughs> um, or you can also go to your local spa and get massages as a couple there too whoa hello there <laughs> Um, so this is the lot that I have from the gallery. I will link it below um, and give them credit because this is amazing. Just look at how nice everything is. Oh my goodness, so much detail. So, so, so much detail. I just love how it looks when you first walk in. Um, it's definitely giving like commercial spa vibes where you can kind of come in and buy your own um, lotions that they use during the massage um, session lots of hangout areas really bomb really bomb and there's even a place for your sims to like cook something um, you know if they work here or anything like that this is such an amazing lot this is um the top floor where they have the yoga and the meditation rooms there's also like a really, really beautiful balcony type, type area where there's bathrooms and um, massage chairs. And then just over the balcony, you have a beautiful pool. Um, and yeah, that's the pool over there and the saunas. So, just so well done. Just so well done. Attention to detail. Look, there's like a little broiler room area over here. That is so cool. So definitely get this lot if you want to get couples massages. Have a romantic night under the stars. <laughs> Camp out in your Sims backyard or if your Sims live in an apartment like mine, check out this lot on the gallery for a beautiful camping experience. Now I don't have outdoor retreat, but if you download a camping lot such as this one, you can still create meaningful memories that your sims gonna look back on um so i actually got these tents from the snowy escape pack but this lot also has some really good base game options as well hang out and enjoy each other's company have a cooking competition date night at home this one requires a little bit of work on your end you can go and explore the world and find some harvestables to bring back home or you can order ingredients online and get them delivered yeah we love the internet <laughs> um so you need to get one ingredient each for your sims to make a meal from and the meal you make must have this ingredient i really like this date night idea because you can see what type of meals you set your sims can make um also if they have differing cooking levels that's also a really big um part in what meals they make and at the end you'll have a beautiful dinner um made specifically by your sims so i really like this idea and i'm really excited for you guys to see how we set up the table so you can have a bouquet of flowers a candle um turn down the lights a little bit get your sims all dressed up and fancy look at that food y'all that bruh 
Bon Appetit. <laughs> I feel like they're definitely arguing about which meal is the best, her fruit salad or his food. <laughs> Another date idea is to visit a nice cozy coffee shop with your significant other and dine out. Um, I know dine out has its issues, <laughs> but um, take it for what you will. <laughs> I will link this lot down below. All lots will be linked um down below with you know their creators and stuff but if you have this one you definitely need to um, request a table as soon as you get here because it gets packed really quickly i love this lot because it has a little dumpster in the back um it's very simple but still really cute i'm getting them both some coffees and probably some pastries if they have them this is like the default menu for all of the restaurants i didn't customize it make sure you customize it though because you can get specialty coffees and that will make a world of a difference for you know the realism in this game um just look i love watching them cook the chefs from you know the restaurants it just makes me happy i don't know why <laughs> And then I cut to when the food is being served because nobody has time to wait. You can also have your Sims come to a drive-in movie. Um, I really like this lot on the gallery. I think it's, wow, I was really going to say I think it's all based game. It's definitely not, but you have all of these really cool food stalls. I love the food stalls so much so i think this is from like city living um probably discover university i'm not really sure but there's a lot of food stalls here but you will have to hire the vendors that's kind of the downside but um there's a bathroom on this lot and the only drawback is that um this is like a tv it's not a projector which if you have the movie hangout pack you can you can use the projector instead but my sims will not sit down to watch tv <laughs> i don't know why i don't so that's the only drawback because they're both not sitting and i really struggled to try to make them sit together while watching tv i feel like this isn't a problem when um i have my sims watch tv at home so yeah weird but this is definitely a really cool idea if you work out <laughs> all of the kinks. If you have the cats and dogs pack, you can come to the museum in Brindleton Bay and look at all of the cool paintings of the dead fishermen and blueprints of boats. But maybe your sims get just a little bit frisky in the museum and decide to take things up a notch and head on down to the lighthouse now your sims actually cannot woohoo in the lighthouse anymore which for whatever reason i don't know who i need to talk to to you know get this fixed but my sims need to be able to woohoo in the light in the lighthouse like come on come on ea creators I just want to talk this will make a really great spot to get engaged or just take photos um or dramatic storylines which i'm sure you guys all have this will be a really great setting it's so beautiful it's just one for the books this they really did their thing with this lighthouse take a hike no literally take a hike with your sims in mount como with your significant other um make sure to check the weather conditions and pack repellent if you need it because you never know what's gonna happen on these hikes but yeah the weather was really bad during our hike i'm surprised they didn't turn into pixel dust so definitely don't do that to your sims that's very very bad they still really enjoyed it they survived <laughs> and um my son got a really cool moodlet from it they took pictures they found those little spirit things they had a really good time another idea is to give back and volunteer with your significant other as a date idea the parenthood pack gives you the volunteer options um but they're rabbit holes and you don't really have a whole lot of say in what 
happens so here you can take it into your own hands and you can give money to sims who need it the most or you can also head on over to sulani and do a nice little beach cleanup to really just volunteer and help your environment you can also have a really nice beach date with your sims you can play in the waterfall you can make cute little sand castles on the shore get some island food swim with dolphins go snorkeling all different kinds of things now this date requires a little bit of work on your end this is one of the most epic date ideas i feel like i've ever thought of <laughs> um and this is going to one of the secret worlds in willow creek i believe it's called sylvan glade i believe is this beautiful pink world that gives all the romantic valentine's day vibes so you want to find this tree you want to view it three times you want to compliment the tree three times um you want to probably water it three times and then this little um bubble will pop up to explore now you can you can have both your sims do this so they have both have access to the world individually but um really you only need one sim to do it and then um once you get into the world then you can have the other sim be brought there um and this will be a really great place to get engaged or to go fishing um explore because this world has a lot of uncommon and rare collectibles i believe that's what it's called um so yeah this will be a great exploration date for your sims who enjoy the outdoors i think it's really cute just look at how beautiful this place is it literally looks like cotton candy land i love it i love it there's like rainbows in the background so gorgeous i wish your sims could like bring picnic baskets here and like you know have picnic tables and have a whole picnic here how many times did i say picnic <laughs> but we really missed the mark with not having any picnic tables here so that's it for me today you guys thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it thanks for vibing with me like and comment comment your favorite date idea from this video and if you have any other date ideas um that you have your sims too so yep that's it for me thanks for vibing with me and i'll see you all in my next video bye